Hey everybody, they are finally here. Mm -hmm. So it is time to do a glasses reveal. Oh. Those are adorable. She's already reaching for them. Do you want your glasses? Are you ready? Let's see. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. What do you see? Do you see things? Aww. Yeah, do you see your car seat? How oh, well did they fit her? Oh, <laughs> do you see mama? Hi! Booga booga. Hi! Do you see your puppy? Look at this is your puppy. Mm hmm. She looks so cute. Hi. Hi, baby. So, thoughts. Hi. What are your thoughts? I, so it was hard for me to accept that I had a baby with glasses. And not in a way, like, that I didn't like that she had glasses, but the fact that I passed down genes to her that she didn't have good eyes. And I had to fight that. Um, and I'm actually glad that we figured it out now. Because as you can see, she already couldn't see. Look at how much more she's able to see now. And I'm glad to start her off early with glasses. Hi. <laughs> so that she gets used to them a lot sooner. And so her eyes don't get worse as she gets older. So, And I think they're actually adorable. They are. I agree. So, what do you think? Hi. Are we going for a first ride with your glasses on? What do you see? Hi. Oh, yeah. Happy 4th of July. So, today is kind of a sad day. Um, we are celebrating 4th of July, but we are celebrating a little differently this year. We are going out to my grandma's house to be with our family. Um, my grandma Linda lost a long, hard-fought battle to cancer this Friday night, July 2nd. So, we're going to be with family today. Um, a lot of us are in good spirits. We're very sad that she is gone, but we are relieved that she is no longer in pain. Um, so it's going to be a hard day. I'm going to piece in some clips of some of our last moments with her and some other memories. Um, she was a fantastic woman. I... <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting choked up. Um, my stepdad's mom is who I'm talking about, but she was never just my stepdad's mom. From the moment that Jake came into my mom in my life, it wasn't my, it wasn't her son's girlfriend's daughter or anything like that. I was automatically one of her own grandkids, <laughs> and she treated me as such. And I am grateful for that and grateful to have known her. She was always laughing, being silly, and we were always doing some crazy, adventurous something. Riding four-wheelers, riding her doom buggy around, riding on the boat. Um, memories that I will never forget, and I will never let Alaska forget either. So it's both a happy and sad day today um
it is Sunday night. Um, we got back from my family's a little bit ago and are unwinding. Um, things are a lot harder tonight than they were this morning after being at her house and finally really accepting that she's not here anymore. Um, we did have a good day with family and I apologize I'm very emotional today um it was a good day and as I was there I did get to remember some more memories as I was there um, we got there and I remember we used to make these little balsam wood airplanes and fly them in the backyard um, inside when I got inside I remember Playing, I don't even know what it's called, but we used to play a game together on the computer where we'd use this, like, we'd have to find clues. I don't even know because I was, it was when I was a lot younger. And she used to have this little mini slot machine that we would play on. And just a lot of stuff that I took for granted. And, uh, it was just hard. Um, so that's something about her is she likes to collect different things. And one of the main things that she collects is owls. And before she passed, she had told my grandma Diane that her wishes were that um, some of us got owls to... For her to look over us and to remind us that she's here and she loves us. So I got to pick my owl. Um, I did pick one for Alaska as well. This is going to go in Alaska's room so that her grandma Linda is always there. Because she loved her to pieces. And the one that I chose is this one right here. And I chose this one because even though I am not biologically her grandchild, she took me under her wing <laughs> quite literally. Like, it fits so well as one of her own. And I never thought of, like, we, she was just my grandma and I was her granddaughter. So... It's hard, but I know she's there looking over me and she loves me and I know she knows that I love her. Um, sorry, I'm kind of getting like raw and real here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say at this point. Just give your loved ones a hug and a kiss and don't ever take a minute for granted and I hope that she looks down on me and she's proud of me and I hope that as I continue to grow she is proud of the woman I become um, so yeah uh, like and subscribe I promise most of my videos are a lot happier and more upbeat than this um, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Here we go. Hey y'all. Hey everybody, they are finally here. So <laughs> I just locked your face out completely. Turn the flash off.